Come on, show us what you can do. Can you move back and forth? Can you dance? Hi everybody, today we will make a radio control spider using a Sony PlayStation 2 joystick. You will need 18 servos. Also, you'll need a control board, a spider set, a battery, and a battery holder. A 3.7V battery will do. The links for all the equipment used are in the video description section. Take six servos and mount them to the frame. To fit the servo into the hole, unmount the bottom part of the servo. Take six servo arms and six stems and join them with screws. Connect them at one point only. It should look like this. Take a servo and the square part of a spider leg and connect them with screws. It should look like this. Take these parts of the spider leg and fasten them to the servo. Unmount the bottom part of the servo first. Take two arms and screw them to these parts. Assemble the spider legs. Take the first part, connect it to the third part, and then connect it to the second part. This is how the spider leg should look. Insert the servo arms into the servos. Do not fasten them with screws yet. The numbers on the board correspond to the servo connector numbers. This is a servo power wire. The microcontroller is powered through a USB cable. If you disconnect it, you need to plug a 5V into the third connector. These two S1 and S2 jumpers change the operation mode. Now the S2 is pulled out and the circuit is powered through the USB cable. You may assemble everything after you connected it to a PC for the first time. Here's a question for you. Why should you connect it to the PC first and then assemble everything after? Answer in the comments. Connect this short white wire wire to the 5V connector. You should unplug the wire if you want to power this using a USB cable. Look at this scheme. It shows how to connect the gamepad receiver to the board. The link for the software and its instructions is in the video description. The control board operating manual is there too. There is also a driver installation guide there. I use every second one of them. Do you know why? Answer in the comments, please. Connect the power in the USB cable to the board. Select the necessary COM port and click Connect. The servo should respond to scrolling. Choose the right amount of servos and select them. Set a rotation angle for every servo. Click Add. A code appears at the bottom of the screen. Copy the code and paste it into the action group. Each button and joystick of the gamepad responds to its action group. I created some action groups that you may use. Click Load, then choose Download All. Wait for 20 to 30 seconds. The robot is set. Click on Connect or Disconnect each time you turn the robot on or off. Check how it works. Pull the S1 and S2 jumpers out. Turn on the joystick, insert the battery, and push the start button. Choose the operating mode. Press the select button. One more LED goes on. Try to make it walk. Forward, backward, turn, dance. You can program it to do anything. 